Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on the Wound Up channel and in this video I'm going to be making a strap review but before we get into the strap itself which is right here um, I just wanted to show you this catalog from uh, I don't know how you pronounce this watchmaker's name but Jacques Dro or, or something like that this catalog was sent to me just a few months ago and and I just now got to finally uh, take a look in it and wow I have to say they they make some some incredibly beautiful watches it's 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 really hard to to um, explain but these are are just fantastic just wow this is this is uh, this is art is what it is oh and yeah this movement wow this rotor the skeletonized rotor is just fantastic. Wow. So yeah, this brand, um, not a whole lot of people know about this brand, but the stuff that they make is just incredible. And I mean, these are not cheap watches by any means. These are very expensive, but I mean, if I had that kind of money, I would definitely spend the money on a watch. Uh, maybe not this watch, but on a watch like this. I mean, instead of some uh, PP or, or AP or something like that. Um, so yeah, enough of this brand. Let's actually get into the task at hand, which is reviewing this incredible rubber strap from the Italian brand uh, Bonetto Cinturini. Uh, yeah, I'm Swedish. I have no idea how to pronounce uh, that, but yeah. So they make some fantastic rubber straps. The one I have right here is the model 284. Um, and the watch that I have uh, fitted this strap to right now is the Christopher Ward C65 Trident GMT. Maybe not the uh, best fitting watch for a strap like this, but this was the only watch that I had at hand which has lugs which are 22 millimeter in, in uh, width and also that has some sort of orange element to its design in this case the GMT hour hand. So right off the bat this rubber strap has a very very nice scent of vanilla. It definitely smells amazing. Um, it's probably some sort of signature I mean detail of these uh, rubber straps. Um, yeah it's, it's, it's very nice. So the brand has 30 years of experience in manufacturing uh, these rubber watch straps and of course they do it in Italy. These uh, watch straps are resistant to salt water and ultraviolet rays. This strap is 22 millimeters wide as I mentioned before. Uh, the long part here is 140 millimeters and the short part with the buckle is, is 80 millimeters. In terms of the thickness, at the most thick point right here, it's 5.7 millimeters thick, and then it tapers down to a, a mere 2.8. You have a smooth finish. It's not shiny, it's, it's not matte, it's somewhere in between. It's just perfect in my opinion. In terms of the clasp, we have a polished, no-name, buckle or clasp, nothing too special about this one. You have some ventilating holes here um, and you do have these kind of like a grooves right here uh, closer to the watch head. Um, but the thing that I like about these grooves is that, um, let me just get out the Seiko rubber strap, is that they do not like stick up. Um, instead they're just like they're basically cut into uh, the strap itself and these parts that then go up they don't actually go above like they do on the Seiko and so yeah definitely I, I, I definitely like the design of, of this strap much more than my Seiko strap. It is soft, it is somewhat stretchy and then on the end here we have the wave motif I guess you could say that you will find on a lot of Seiko divers including the one that I am wearing today my SBDC065 which unfortunately has a 20 millimeter lug width which is why I can't put 
the strap on my Seiko. Yeah, wristwatch check. The SBDC 065, amazing watch. So this, this strap is definitely going to fit very well with your Seiko divers. And actually I did purchase this strap to put it on my uh, Dawn Gray Seiko Turtle, but I have since then sold the turtle, which is why I have to put it on the Christopher Ward. And I don't have any other watch at the moment which fits this strap, uh, both in terms of the lug width and in terms of the color scheme. So I'm just gonna have to keep uh, this strap until I purchase a watch that fits it. And yeah, overall the strap is extremely comfortable. You can definitely feel that it's very well made. And another great feature here in terms of the, um, in terms of how well it fits with your Seiko divers, uh, the, the holes here for the spring bars are very wide because they are supposed to fit these thick uh, Seiko spring bars. So yeah, if you're having a hard time finding a strap that fits your, your OEM uh, Seiko spring bars, this strap will definitely do it. So this is the model 284 from uh, Bonetto uh, Cinturini. <laughs> Still, I can't pronounce it, but uh, yeah. Overall, fantastic strap. I definitely do recommend it. It costs just around 30 bucks. So um, yeah, for a high quality um, Italian made rubber strap that smells or has a scent of vanilla, I definitely have to say this is a bargain of a strap. So definitely go ahead and purchase it. Um, I'm just gonna put it on my wrist now to show you how it wears. Um, as I said before, it is a very comfortable strap. As I said, it's a very comfortable strap and it's also actually a very long strap. So as you can see here, um, it goes all the way to the side of my wrist and I have quite large wrists at 19.5 uh, centimeters, which means you can definitely pull this off over a wetsuit or diving suit or anything like that, which is fantastic. So uh, yeah, please do feel free to let me know what you guys think about this strap in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe also if you like this video and would like to see more like it. And with that said, I'll see you in my future videos. Bye bye.